Hello everybody, Trevor here. You've all seen my top 10 Thomas characters I'd like to see televised. And now, get ready for my top 10 characters I don't want to see televised. Now, believe it or not, there are some characters that I don't think need to be televised. Whether they are from the Railway series, annuals, magazines, or other Thomas books. I know it may sound controversial, but just because I'd like to see more characters into the show, doesn't mean they all have to be. You don't have to agree with me on everything, but try to understand where I'm coming from, okay? Also, I'm not saying that I don't like these characters. I just think we don't need them for reasons I'm about to explain. Now, let's get started. Number 10, Pip and Emma. I know this may sound controversial, but I don't think they should televise Pip and Emma for various reasons. The show mainly takes place in the mid-20th century, such as the 40s, 50s, and 60s, you know, before the 1970s. And besides, we already have Connor and Caitlin, as well as Connor from the upcoming reboot, so why not use them to replace Pip and Emma instead? Also, I think we should have more differences between the Railway series and TV series. Remember in the last video where I discussed that? Like, for example, Napper Station in the show is a lot bigger than it was in the Railway series. But at the same time, Pip and Emma are very interesting characters, so that's why they get the lowest spot on the list. Number 9, Old Stuck Up. Also known by his number Diesel 40125, this haughty diesel came to the island only to be rude to the other engines such as Boko and his steam engine friends, but he soon got his comeuppance after crashing through a brick wall. The reason he's on this list is because for one thing, he looks too similar to Diesel 199, aka Spam Can, but a different class. Also, if I want this episode to be televised, then maybe they should reuse Diesel 261. Otherwise, we'd, we'd be introducing too many characters into the show, and I think we should try to reuse characters that we've already have instead of making more minorities. Number 8. A few of the other National Railway Museum engines. I've said this already in the last video, and I'll try to keep it brief here. I don't want the Duchess of Hamilton, Box Hill, and the faceless version of Stevenson's Rocket because we already got Duchess of Lowborough, Stepney, and Stephen from King of the Railway. If I want Thomas and the Rail Tour to be televised, then they should probably reuse Duchess of Lowborough and not use the other two. And yes, I know Stepney and Box Hill are the exact same class, but my point is, we don't need all of the Railway series characters into the show. They can just cut costs by reusing old characters. But that's just my opinion, and I'm perfectly fine if anyone says otherwise. Number 7. Genty and Pug I don't think we need these two because they're minor characters, and if I personally want a remake of Thomas and the Special Letter, then I think they should use actual characters from the mainland such as Samson and Logan, because in the original episode, we've got Mavis, Boko, Bill, Ben, Donald, Douglas, and Oliver, yeah, I can understand why they reuse characters to replace some of the other ones. Number 6, Stanley the Mid-Sodor Engine. This was the original Smudger, but red, more American, and a completely different class. I can understand why people prefer Stanley's bases over Smudger's, but the thing is, he was already replaced by Smudger in Season 4, and I think they should have brought back Smudger a long time ago. He is one of those TV series only characters I think deserves a return, with a voice actor. In addition, instead of Smudger being scrapped like his Railway series counterpart, I think they should have him be found by Mr. Percival and given a second chance. My point is, I don't want any more characters that are scrapped. I don't want them to end up like the Spiteful Bright Fan in Season 2. Personally, if I wanted a new character that looks similar to Stanley, then I think they should make a brand new one, but with a completely different personality and coat of paint. Besides, it's the TV series after all, and we don't have to be 100% accurate to the Railway series. Number 5, The Works Diesel. He can be replaced by any Diesel, including Derek. That reminds me, why not bring back Derek into the show with a voice actor or something? And besides, The Works Diesel looks similar to Bear, but a completely different class. Number 4. A few of the other Coldy Fell engines. Remember in the last video where I said that I wanted most of these characters into the show? Well, there are a few I don't think need to be televised, 
And those are Shane Duini, wherever pronounce his last name, Alaric, and Eric. Because for one thing, Shane Duini was only mentioned in the foreword of Mountain Engines, and furthermore, not much is known about Alaric and Eric other than the fact that they are nice and quiet. The only ones I think should be televised are Caldy, Ernest, Wilfred, Godred, Lord Harry, now called Patrick, Catherine, and the truck. Oh, and also the other coaches too. But what about their controller, you may ask? Well, according to an old video back in 2012, Mr. Percival was in charge of the narrow gauge lines, including the Caldy Fell Railway. So we probably don't need Mr. Walter Richards in the show. Number three, Fred the Narrow Gauge Diesel. In case you didn't know, Fred was the number nine engine on the Scarloy Railway and was the secondary narrow gauge diesel in the franchise after Rusty. The reason why I don't want this character to be televised is because, for one thing, he was only mentioned in New Little Engine. Secondly, I think they should make a brand new narrow gauge diesel that's also number nine, and maybe it can be female. You know how Freddy replaced Ivo Hugh in the TV series? Why not do the same thing for Fred? Number two, Ivo Hugh. Again, he was already replaced by Fearless Freddy as the number seven engine on the Scarloy Railway. And besides, we can't have two number seven engines on the Scarloy line. Before I get to my number one pick, here are at least three honorable mentions, Albert, Helena, and Victoria. I'm actually having second thoughts on these characters. I would like to see them in the show, eventually. And the number one characters I don't want to see televised are the other minor non-televised characters, whether they be in the Railway series, annuals, magazines, and other Thomas books. There are so many minor characters that I don't want televised that if I name them all, we'd be here all day. So I'll give a few examples as possible. Example number one, Victor the Old Engine. We already have a Victor in the CGI era. Example number two, the Orange Caterpillar Crane from Washout. He can be replaced by anybody, including Kelly from the pack. Example number three, Sydney the Narrow Gauge Engine. We already got a Sydney in the actual show. Example number four, the other coaches from the magazines. They're already replaced by Dexter from Big World Big Adventures, so what's the point of needing all of them? The biggest reasons why I don't want these types of characters into the show is because most of them are too obscure and not well known, and that most of the magazine stories are not canon to the actual show. And besides, we don't need all of them. And trust me, my original pipe dream was to televise all Thomas characters, including those from the magazines. But my opinion on that has changed nowadays. Well, there you have it. My top 10 Thomas characters I don't want televised. If you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. And I'd like to know which non-televised characters you don't want to see in the show. If some of these do end up getting televised, then that's okay. These are just my personal opinion. Oh, and if you have any ideas for new top 10s or top 5s, please let me know. This is Trevor Davis, signing off.